Okay, we have My Way Ultra Ship 75. My new scale is here. I did order the version with the AC adapter. I don't really know why. I don't think this is necessary because the vast majority of selecting a scale like this was because it's portable with the batteries. But I did get this. It wasn't any more money for that one. I just had to pick the right vendor to buy it from. I guess. So, okay, you get the company and parchment. User's manual. German, French, Spanish, and that's it. Get a feedback card. says lifetime 30 year warranty card but 30 years is a very short lifetime but 30 years is a long warranty though a very long warranty two screws I guess if you want to mount the base plate somewhere else. An inspector card. Initialed by whoever inspected it.
and a buttload of other scales. You know, I've never understood the logic behind this. Maybe somebody could explain it in the comments. But if I just bought a scale, where is the logic in? Oh, I might need 10 or 20 scales. I guess somebody might, but this seems stupid to put this in there to me, but I don't know. that matters, but anyway. So we get a attachment to do tubes. might want to just leave this up because as hard as it is to pull that up, eventually I bet you just break it right out of there. Well, I don't know, maybe if you control the pull. But the letters, I don't know how useful that would be. You could just lay the letters flat on it. But it's included. And apparently the scale itself. It says, please note that this metal base may have scratches on it. Is that in focus? Probably not. Okay, that might have got focused on it. I had to change the camera to close up. Anyway, it's saying little scratches on there is normal, not to worry about it. But I don't see any scratches on it anyway, so that's kind of a waste of good footage. This is weird. these things. That's kind of weird. So we'll push this 
I guess the beveled edge on it would go to the front. We'll carefully push it down. If I put batteries in it, they go in the battery side. Yes, normally I use rechargeable batteries, but I do have those that I've had for years. I thought I'd get rid of them. Don't judge me. Well, you can if you want to. On the back, you can see, or can you see? Right here is what I'm noting. In order to take the front plate off, you want to push that forward toward the arrow. Make sure we're in the frame. And let me zoom out because I won't be able to see what I'm doing. Okay, so you'll push that down toward the arrow and then push both sides out like that. And that detaches the front. Or to put it back, you'd lift it up. And slide it until it locks into place. Okay, to change the units, the unit of measure is on the side here. So you push this. So let's turn it on. And it's ready. If you notice, it's in pounds and ounces. So if you wanted to change that by pushing the side button, it scrolls through. So I'm going to leave it on grams for right now because... The only way I have to test it is in grams. So let's see if it's accurate. At all. Shall we? So first we have ten grams. This one's twenty grams, so we should have thirty. So far, so good. This another another twenty grams. Perfect. Okay, so now this one is fifty grams by itself. This one's a hundred grams. And 
another 100 grams. Ooh, I thought it was going to mess up there for a second. Okay, so we're at 300. This is 200 grams by itself. Pretty cool, huh? And the 500 gram weight is actually a little too heavy for these tweezers. Ooh, I thought it was going to mess up there too, but... So we got 1,000 grams. Let's take the smallest one off. See if it notices the difference. It does. Okay, so you can weigh it. And remove stuff. And it changes accordingly so it don't get stuck on what it's what it is at the time. That's a good thing. Okay, that continuous weight. Seems to be very accurate. You know, it's kind of weird. This one has a small ball thing here. Even smaller than the smaller weight. That's kind of funny. So it's very accurate as best I can tell from what I've got to work with. Okay, now these things here, how you would use these is you do one of two things. You could put that, well, how do you do put that on there? You could put it on like this, put it on like that. Oh, okay, so it'll slide on this way. Now, to get rid of this, you push the zero. Some people call it tear. I've heard people call it tarry. Don't know. And with that in mind, you can weigh this kind of poo. And it keeps it from rolling off. I guess you could also put it in the middle there. That wouldn't roll off either, but that ain't how it was intended. I don't actually have any round melling tubes to demonstrate with. But you could if you if you do those. Okay, and the other attachment that comes with it is this thing here. It looks like it goes on across like that. Then you would zero it out as well. Let me get a wider view. And that would work for stuff like this. Or this. Although, honestly, I don't see the point in that. I mean, if that's how you do it, that's fine. You could also do it this way. Or flat.
but it's, but it's available either way you want to do it. Now, the reason I, one of the reasons I selected this particular scale is here in the United States, our post office deals in pounds and ounces, right? So, when we go to weigh stuff, I would want to weigh it in pounds and ounces. So if I'm shipping this, it's two pounds, eight ounces. Now, I, it, it has a .5 ounce after two pounds. Under two pounds, it's .1 ounce. So I don't know, I guess it would be up to you to raise that up to 2.9, 2 pounds, 9 ounces to add to it. Part of the reason for having a scale in the first place is so you don't pay extra postage. So I guess it would be up to you whether uh, you should take a chance on that or not, I guess. Another nice feature of this particular scale is the hold. When you can't see how much something weighs, you can reach under, press hold, then remove the package. 13.6 ounces. Thirteen point six ounces, three hundred and eighty five grams, zero pounds, thirteen point six ounces. And of course, moving the face, remove the face, and pull it out is another way to get around not being able to see the digits. So here's an interesting question, and you should be able to see hold in the display right here. I'm not sure how long it'll hold it. manual probably says probably a minute oh there it went away okay so his question can a scale weigh itself want to know let's flip it over let's push hold Put it back over. One pound, four point eight ounces. So yeah, I guess it can, at least kind of weigh itself. So what it comes down to is, I love it. Very beautiful scale, very nice. Very accurate. Let me know what you think in the comments. Now, as far as the budgeting channel goes, this is about budgeting. I'm using the old batteries that I've had from a long time ago. When they die out, I have these that take, you put three inner loops in. I guess this way. And it makes, I don't have enough inner loops to do that. It holds four C batteries. Which could be replaced by these.
which you're probably not supposed to mix rechargeables and alkaline batteries. Anyway. Two point five ounces, roughly. So you could use four, just put you know one in each slot, and it would still work. But I only have one AAA and a loop left. And I don't know how old these are. This says March 2005. Is that in focus on the camera? I think so. So these batteries are old, old, old. They're all saying March 2005. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and use them up so they don't go to waste. The sad truth of it is... And I'm putting that in backwards so you can see this. But the sad truth is, is I don't really have much use for C batteries anyway. But when these are gone, I can use the antelopes. Now there is something else that I've noticed. I'm going to do a video on it eventually. This ain't the video to do it on it. Something that I've noticed that's coming out lately, more and more you can find, and I'll do a video on these batteries as well, but these are lithium batteries. Had I bought a 9 volt scale, it would have been perfect, but this one wasn't available as a 9 volt. And then you have the, you don't really need a charger, it has a slot in, in it similar to the slot the cell phones used. And you can plug the, I think that's called USB-C or something like that. But you can get C batteries like these. So maybe instead of buying a whole bunch of inner loops, I might just get those. I don't know yet. But technically, on this channel, we don't use alkaline batteries. We always use rechargeables. This is a small exception. So like and subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. And I thank you so much for watching. The unit of measure is on the back. And 
and make sure I didn't, oops, I turned the off, but I hit the off button by mistake. 